everyone. Thank you for being here. My name is Sisvan Putavang Houghton. I'm going to give you a little bit of insight and description on the sculpture piece, Scattered Bomblet. This show, Thank You No Thank You, fits perfectly within the spectrum of where my work is today. My personal connection to the theme, Thank You No Thank You, uh, is directly connected since I am a Laotian immigrant. I was born in Laos in 1976 and we came over in 1980. My father was a medic for the American Red Cross, so we didn't really have a choice in terms of uh, leaving Laos. Uh, we ended up in Kansas in 1980, and so a lot of my upbringing consisted of going to Laotian parties and translating for my parents and, and then also learning English. And so in that sense, uh, the show's title and the show's mission in terms of identity and diaspora and displacement totally fits within the parameter of what my work has been for, for since I have been making artwork, uh, actually. Since 2016, my first experience with the Laotian community as a whole in terms of the professional artists and poets and things like that uh, uh, was from the 2016 San Diego Rider, Lao Rider Summit and that just opened the doors in terms of how I was thinking about my work but how I was wanting to educate the public both as an artist and an advocate and since that time I met Chana Pa who was CEO of Legacy of War at that time and her speech just moved me and so ever since my work has been centered uh, strongly around the secret war on Laos um, and the Vietnam War but it also really relates again to my own identity as a Laotian American and uh, as a 1.5 generation immigrant. What I realized though as I was making this the, all these artwork was that nobody really knew where Laos was at. They didn't even know that Laos was a country. So one of my pieces that I recently just completed was a series where uh, basically each panel had for eight minutes, for 24 hours, for nine years, 270 million dropped on Laos. And so in that sense, uh, I realized that I just had to be direct with the public in terms of my artwork and not dance around. So I, I created this 3D sculptural scattered bomblet piece, as I called it, because I wanted initially the audience to step on the piece um, and become part of the piece, uh, but due to logistics and, and time and material and cost, I ended up with creating a piece that uh, is, is, is on the floor, but in a sense it's um, people have to squat or they lean forward to really look at the artwork and look to see uh, in detail the 270 million dropped that has been laser engraved on each individual piece. Or I again didn't want to dance around the idea that this didn't happen. Uh, I wanted people really to become part of the piece and so in a sense when they're looking at the artwork, the reflection from the mylar is a reflection of themselves to really question, A, who they are, where are they at in terms of uh, thinking about this piece as a whole, and also hopefully remembering that it was such a, a, a horrible event and a tragic event and an event that was so secretive that still today a lot of people have no idea uh, about any of the historical facts about about Laos at all. The process is really quite laborious. It took us a few months to create the artwork and that was with the help of my husband and my children. We first created a rubber silicone mold directly from a real bomblet piece and then uh, in each mold we uh, combined a two-part resin and sloshed each mold with the resin allowed for it to quickly dry and then pop them out of their shell. So again, these pieces were created to look very toy-like and pre-manufactured and to be colorful, it's supposed to be candy light. The reason for that is because I wanted the audience to look at them and be invited by the colors I want to give a shout out to the h and Initiative for giving me this opportunity to be part of this very important show. Thank you everyone.